This tuned telepathic channeling was originally published as the Law of One. It is offered in the hope that it may be useful to you, as the Confederation entities always make a point of saying, please use your discrimination and judgment in assessing this material. If something rings true to you, fine. If something does not resonate, please leave it behind, for neither we nor those of the Confederation would wish to be a stumbling block for any. I am Ra. I have not spoken through this instrument before. We had to wait until she was precisely tuned as we send a narrow band vibration. We greet you in the love and in the light of our infinite creator. We have watched your group. We have been called to your group for you have a need for the diversity of experiences in channeling which go with a more intensive, or as you might call it, advanced approach to the system of studying the patterns of the illusion of your body, your mind, and your spirit, which you call seeking the truth. We hope to offer you a somewhat different slant upon the information which is always and ever the same. The Confederation of Planets in the service of the Infinite Creator has only one important statement. That statement my friends, as you know, is all things, all of life, all of the creation is part of one original thought. We will exercise each channel if we are able to. The reception of our beam is a somewhat more advanced feat than some of the more broad vibration channels opened by other members for more introductory and intermediate work. Let us for a moment consider thought. What is it, my friends, to take thought? Took you then thought today? What thoughts did you think today? What thoughts were part of the original thought today? In how many of your thoughts did the creation abide? Was love contained? And was service freely given? You are not part of a material universe. You are part of a thought. You are dancing in a ballroom in which there is no material. You are dancing thoughts. You move your body, your mind, and your spirit in somewhat eccentric patterns, for you have not completely grasped the concept that you are part of the original thought. I am Ra. We greet you in the love and the light of our infinite creator. 
we ask that you be patient with us, for we are a difficult channel to receive. However, we may perhaps add some dimensions to your understanding. You may ask, what is our purpose? We have our place. We are not those of the love density or the light density. We are those who are of the law of one. In our vibration, the polarities are harmonized. The complexities are simplified and the paradoxes have their solution. We are one. That is our nature and our purpose. We are old upon your planet and have served with varying degrees of success in transmitting the law of one, of unity of singleness to your peoples. We have walked your earth. We have seen the faces of your peoples. This is not so with many of the entities of the Confederation. We found it was not efficacious. However, we then felt the great responsibility of staying in the capacity of removing the distortions and powers that had been given to the Law of One. We will continue in this until your, shall we say, cycle is appropriately ended. If not this one, then the next. We are not a part of time, and thus are able to be with you in any of your time. I am Ra, the identity of the vibration Ra is our identity. We as a group, or what you would call a social memory complex, made contact with a race of your planetary kind, which you call Egyptians. Others from our density made contact at the same time in South America, and the so-called lost cities, where their attempts to contribute to the Law of One. We spoke to one who heard and understood and was in a position to decree the Law of One. However, the priests and peoples of that era quickly distorted our message, robbing it of the, shall we say, compassion with which unity is informed by its very nature. Since it contains all, it cannot abhor any. When we were no longer able to have appropriate channels through which to enunciate the Law of One, we removed ourselves from the now hypocritical position which we had allowed ourselves to be placed in. In other myths, shall we say, other understandings, having more to do with polarity and the things of your vibrational complex, again took over in that particular society complex. 
consider, if you will, that the universe is infinite. This has yet to be proven or disproven. But we can assure you that there is no end to yourselves, your understanding, and what you would call your journey of seeking, or your perceptions of the creation. That which is infinite cannot be many. For manyness is a finite concept. To have infinity, you must identify or define that infinity as unity. Otherwise, the term does not have any referent or meaning. In an infinite creator, there is only unity. You have seen simple examples of unity. You have seen the prism, which shows all colors stemming from the sunlight. This is a simplistic example of unity. In truth, there is no right or wrong. There is no polarity. For all will be, as you would say, reconciled at some point in your dance through the mind-body-spirit complex, which you amuse yourself by distorting in various ways at this time. This distortion is not in any case necessary. It is chosen by each of you as an alternative to understanding the complete unity of thought which binds all things. We are not speaking of similar or somewhat like entities or things. You are everything, every being, every emotion, every event, every situation. You are unity. You are infinity. You are love, light, light, love. You are this is the law of one. I leave you in the glory and peace of unity. Go forth in peace, rejoicing in the power of the one creator. I